Okay, let's open Inkscape <clears throat> and maximize my page. Zoom out a little. Set our printer size paper. Mine is eight and a half by eleven. Okay, let's import our picture. Strap body front. Open. Okay. Lock it. Flip it once. Enlarge it a little bit. Okay, let's. Uh, we need to zoom in, so we're going to see what uh, what our point of measurement reference is. <clears throat> Okay, we're going to use from here to here, which is 68 millimeters. Okay, let's get us a rectangle. Let's unlock it. Set the width to 68. Lock it and enter. Okay, as you can see, the uh, the pattern here is quite a bit smaller. So we're going to enlarge it. <clears throat> and I've already measured it beforehand, just to save time. And so, we'll select it and unlock this. And in the height, we're going to put 497. Lock it and enter. Okay, you see that? It's a perfect match. So we don't need this rectangle anymore, so let's delete that. Now let's zoom out. Okay, we're going to take our BZA tool and start drawing. Doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to perfect it once we start editing it. And double click. And click on your node tool and select it and we're going to change the color to red because the color behind it's black and this is black so it's going to be easier to see if we change the color okay I'm going to hit shift and red and then uh, let's change our stroke width to 0.5 Do this roughly, and then I'm going to zoom in and okay, you should know too. We have our little handles here, we can make fine adjustments with.
Hey, that looks pretty good. Okay, we need to change our um, our ink color back to black. So we've selected it. Give okay, shift and black. Now let's zoom out. And one thing I forgot to mention in the other videos, and I went back and corrected them, but if you want this area you've drawn to be opaque, you need to fill it with a color. So I'm going to fill it with white. Okay, you see that? Okay. And then we're going to delete this. We're going to save this. Call it Strat Control Cavity. Enter. Okay, well that's saved. And so um, I have a Frankenstrat project I have coming up. And so I'm going to use this. So uh, I hope this is helpful to you and I thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye-bye.